Hello, and welcome to a walking tour of medieval lean sherping. My name is Celia Young, and I shall be your guide on this excursion through lean sherping's oldest quarters. The Viking era came to an end a thousand years ago, and we became Christians. Rune stones belong to the transition period between the Viking and Christian Middle Ages. This rune stone is a remnant of Vigfast, who died on a Viking raid in England. The stone was found in 1950 in a field by Kallestad Estate, on the outskirts of Linsherping. It was obstructing the ploughing and was therefore removed when it was discovered that it was a rune stone. The photographs were taken when it was installed here. You shall now continue on the gravel path and pass by the statue. Between the bushes you can see a deep depression, like a large cavity in the ground. This used to be a fish pond in the Middle Ages, which belonged to Briad Gordon's garden. The estate is well known since the 14th century. In time it became the garden of the bishop, and is today largely divided up, yet includes a part of the park in which you presently find yourself. Archaeological investigations in the park have revealed many foundations, amongst others a medieval cellar. Recently the remnants of a large smithy were discovered. Four forges were situated under a large roof shelter, and a whole team of workmen could work at the same time in the smithy. It could have been used in the construction of the large residence of the bishop, as well as in the construction of the first tower of the cathedral, being built in the 18th century. Now continue through Rufsengongen, towards the cathedral. On the left side is the fine 18th century residence of the bishop, surrounded by many medieval buildings, and on the right side is the Consistoriehuset, the consistory house, which has a medieval cellar. Stop outside the white gate of the bishop's residence. 